Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here to be talking all about skincare and skincare fridges. Shout out to Gabby for buying this for me for Christmas. I've had it for since Christmas but I started using it about two to three weeks ago so it is still new to me but I definitely have some pros and cons. By the way, sorry if my lighting's a little bit off because behind me is a green wall and then my light and my lights over there are kind of picking up weird light but I checked and it my skin complexion looks fine so Sorry if the lighting's a little bit off, but I wanted to showcase the fridge and I had nowhere else to put it. So if you want to see my skincare routine and what's inside my fridge, then please keep on watching. Go ahead and talk about what's inside my fridge. We'll do a little rundown really quick before um, I get started into the actual skincare and pros and cons. First thing is this Ultra Facial Cream by Kiehl's. If you know me, you know that's my ride or die. I like to have a setting mist in here or um, a facial spray of some sort. Um, I also was going to take out a few things to make it more aesthetically pleasing to look at. But for the sake of this video, I wanted to show you exactly what I put in here. So, And you could fit a lot, but not all perfectly lined, you know? But this is how it looks. So I have the spray. This is the Mario Badescu. I have this Ulta, Ulta face mask. I have the Wishful Skin by Huda Beauty. I have the Tatcha Radiance face mask. Oh my god, this feels so good putting it on cold. The Tatcha Silk Peony, Peony, Peony <laughs> eye cream. Uh, the Tatcha Dewy Skin Cream. And then I have my Jade Roller. Or well, it's kind of like a knockoff Jade Roller. I have the Badescu Drying Potion, the Kiehl's Cannabis Oil. You know that's my jam. And then I have this Mad Hippie Vitamin C Serum that I've just been getting into. And then my mom actually just got me this Kiehl's under eye cream. It's for fighting wrinkles because I told her I'm looking old at 23. So then, and then I have this lip balm and all of my sheet masks in the door. Really quickly, just a few face masks that I like is this Tatcha Luminous Dewy Silk Mask. Oh my god, this is like pretty much the same thing as this but in a sheet mask. And then these Wonder Beauty under eye um, patches. Amazing cold because they depuff your eyes. And then I have these like Kiehl's masks and just some random masks. This one's like a concentrate mask. So look how much stuff I could fit in there. I still could fit a lot more all back here. But just like I said for the sake of the video, I wanted it to look aesthetically pleasing. So, and it still does. Even when it gets a little bit messy, it still looks like cute in there. Like I'll throw in my um, ultra facial um, toner in there as well. And then I also just got this. So I actually just got this in the mail. This is the Cannabis Sativa Seed Oil Herbal Cleanser. And this matches the oil. And if you guys have watched my videos, you know that oil is my jam. Like, literally, this is my sixth bottle. I just got it in the mail. And then with, along with this, Kiehl's was doing 20% off. So I got more excited about that. So this is the facial cleanser. I have not used it yet. But therefore, that's why it's not in my fridge. But these two could fit in there as well. And it would still, like be roomy you know so it's really nice it's really roomy I thought you could rearrange the racks I don't know if I'm just missing it but for some reason they wouldn't pop out because if if I could pop it out I would pop this one out and just put mostly everything laid down here with like the um sprays just standing up straight but I couldn't figure it out so sorry but let's go ahead and get started while I do my skincare I'm gonna be talking about pros and cons Okay, so first thing I did is take a cotton round with my Ultra Facial Toner, and I like to give my skin a good, nice, clean toning. It feels so good and refreshed because it is cold. So the benefits of having your skincare in a fridge is, first of all, number one, research shows that it shows a longer shelf life for your products, so your products will last you longer, even though I'm sure you go through your skincare quite fast, like I do, but it's still nice to know that it lasts longer in case you, like, you know, move away from it, try something new. Another thing is bacteria. So it'll keep it from get it building up bacteria. So when you dip your fingers in there, you don't know what's living on your fingers or your hands, you know, germs. So um, this will technically, I don't know if it'll like kill the bacteria, but research shows, let me read exactly what it says. So I'm not wrong. Okay, so quoted by a dermatologist doctor, it says a designed skincare fridge is a great way to keep your products active for a longer period of time, like I said, a longer shelf life. Cooling the products helps inhibit bacterial and fungal growth once the product has been contaminated with fingers. So therefore, when you stick your finger in, bacteria can build up in your skincare without you even knowing it. So having the skincare fridge is a benefit to that of avoiding. So now what I like to do if I'm doing my full in-depth skincare routine, this is what it is. I like to go in with my Wishful Skin Yoglo and you go in with your face dry. 
I like to always tone before I do a scrub just to make sure there's no excess dirt on my um, face. So I give it a, oh, I just spilled it. I normally give it a good shake with my the cap on. That was a fail, I just spilled it all over me, but I like to go in with my Yoglo by Huda Beauty or Wishful Skin, but she's the owner. And I just take it in my hands. They say to put it on your face dry. And I can't tell you what this has done for my skin. You guys, first of all, it feels so good on the skin. But it's like not an aggressive scrub. And normally I do not like those. By the way, please excuse my quarantine nails. I need them done. But anyways, um, this just gives me such a good glow. And that's probably why it's called Yo Glow. I know it's an enzyme scrub, so... Um, I don't know the exact benefits of all of it, but I know one is glowing and I love to glow and I'm sure you guys all do too. It gives my skin that inner beauty glow and that youthful look that everybody wants. So I just keep scrubbing until it gets like pilled up like that and it's supposed to. So I just keep going and then I'll take like um, a wet cloth and just wipe it away versus washing my face because I feel like that works best. So another benefit of your products being cooled in the skincare fridge is that it allows the product to actually penetrate through your skin um, even further and deeper because of the cooling effect it gives and depuffing. So number one thing I like to keep in here are my eye patches because when you put them under your eye, it depuffs like no other because it's so cool. So you know when you wake up in the morning and you take a nice, you wash your face with like a nice splash of cold water and it just wakes up the skin this is kind of the same thing because your skincare products are cold so it's waking up the skin getting the blood flow glow going so it really does have a lot of benefits so here's another doctor's comment on a skincare fridge it says keeping your creams chilled could even take away the puffiness and boost circulation in the skin which i mentioned earlier according to dr susan smith jones if there's room, it's good to have a mini refrigerator in the bathroom to keep lotions and creams cool. So pretty much that just proves to you that having a skincare fridge is more of a luxury, I would say, because when skincare products come out, they have to go through a stability testing, meaning that it needs to pass certain tests to show that it can have a shelf life without being in a cool area or like a fridge or some sort of just in a room temperature area. Just like normal people put them in their medicine chest or in their drawers, it doesn't, you don't need a skincare fridge, but it is a luxury to have one, and it is really cute and aesthetically pleasing. So I guess a con to this skincare fridge is it's not really that necessary, but it kind of is at the same time because it gets your blood circulation going, it depuffs, and now what I like to do is go in with my oil. So lately, I've been using both of these, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my Vitamin C Serum by Mad Hippie. Shout out to my bestie, Sammy, for letting me take this from her because I loved it when I tried it at her house. It, it says it's an uplifting antioxidant blend that brightens, tightens, and smooths the skin. And what more could we ask for? So definitely love this. It's more of like a tackier feel. So I don't mind it, especially before makeup, because when you have a tackier base on your face, your foundation sticks on perfectly and lasts so much longer. So I am in no shape, weight, or form a skincare expert, but I do my research on skincare, so I do have some knowledge in it, and I plan to be one day an expert in skincare. So mark my words, hopefully one day I will be. Okay, next thing I'm going to go into is my most favorite, most talked about skincare product is a cannabis seed oil herbal concentrate by Kiehl's. I'm a very big Kiehl's fan, as you can tell. So I'm going to go ahead and with this, this is a very brand new fresh one. I just opened it today. I ran out of my other one. I take about one, two, three, four drops. A little bit goes a long way. And this will last you, even though this is my sixth bottle. I use this like two, three times a day. Because if I'm home, like I've been, I do my skincare a lot. So then I use it morning and night. I'm going to go ahead and stamp this in my face. Oh, It just feels so nice, especially cool. Another benefit to keeping your products cool is, you know when you take a nice hot shower, that opens up your pores. Just like when you get a facial, they put that hot steamer on you, the facial steamer, so it could open up your pores so certain products can penetrate into the pores. But you don't always want everything to go in there and clog them. So when you get out of the shower, let's say you do your toner, that will close up your pores because of the cold product. And therefore, it'll do exactly what you need it to do without clogging your pores. A um, esthetician has told me that, so I didn't just make that up on the top of my head. <laughs> so next thing I'm going to be going into is my um, Tatcha Silk Peony Eye Cream, and I love this one. My mom actually just got me this Kiehl's one. I haven't tried it, so I'm going to just do this one for you because this is my normal routine. 
I like to take it on my finger and I go ahead and put it on my ring finger or my, yeah, my ring finger and go ahead and put it under my eyes. And like I use my ring finger because it's your most gentle finger. So you want to be very gentle under the eyes. I always drag this way and not back and forth. Well, I try not to drag. So I like to just like go upwards and then I'll take whatever's left on the um, lids. Okay, so next thing I do is go in typically with my ultra facial cream. Depending on my mood, sometimes I will use the Dewy Skin Cream by Tatcha. But mostly I only use this in the mornings. And then this one I use day and night. But this one when I use in the morning, it's either if I'm wearing no makeup because it gives you that inner glow. It's so beautiful. Or if I'm about to put makeup on. So I think I'm actually going to use this one today because I'm about to put my makeup on after this video. And um, this one I use every single day and it's a great one. So it just depends what my mood is and what my skin needs in that moment. So right now I'm going to go ahead and take a little bit of this dewy skin cream. So this one is a little bit goes a long way and that's what I love about Tatcha products. I'm just going to rub it in my hand and just go upward and just look, look at that. It just gives you such a nice glow. I like to massage it into the skin. My skincare routine is like my time of the day. So it's really nice and always go up on the neck. Don't forget the neck. And then what I do next is I like to finish it off with a Kiehl's lip balm or I'll use Aquaphor. I really like Aquaphor, but this fits really nice into my fridge. And what I liked about this being in the fridge is that normally when I squeeze it out, it's so oily. But ever since I put it in the fridge, it got like more thick consistency, more of a thick consistency. So I like it so much better. Sometimes I'll even put this lip mask on or it's not a mask it's just a lip balm on as a gloss because look how shiny it is so it looks really nice and it hydrates the lips especially at nighttime but I also love aquaphor because it's such a deep hydration but I don't keep the aquaphor in my fridge I don't do this step at night I'll take my little jade roller and just deep puff under my eyes and this is if I'm not in like a damn rush but I try to do this part because first of all it feels so good it wakes up the skin and then I'll try to like kind of do this kind of business to pretend I'm contouring out my face. I don't even know if this actually works, but I'd like to believe it does from research what it shows. Go up on your forehead. And this also helps to penetrate the products through the skin, but without clogging the pores. Hopefully not. But I just got into these, so I really like how it feels under the eyes. Just depuffing it. And last but not least, what I like to top it off with is a facial spray and... This is the best part. It just locks and seals everything in. I'm like really weird with sprays. I love them. Like even with my makeup, if I like forget when I'm leaving the house, I'm like, oh, I forgot to set my makeup, which I normally never forget to. But if I do, I'll run back upstairs and set my face. And when it's cool, it just makes it that much better, especially after putting all the powders on your face. It feels so good with a cool mist. It just like brings moisture back to the skin. Okay. So now that is honestly my skincare routine. I don't have a crazy skincare routine, which is actually good. You don't need to use 10,000 products, even though I did use a bunch of products. Um, typically, if I were to use this cleanser, I would do it when I'm taking off my makeup. So this would be more of my nighttime product versus my um, morning product. So like I said, let's do a quick rundown. I did a ultra facial toner. I did the Wishful Skin by Huda Beauty. I did these two serums and an eye cream, a moisturizer, and a lip balm. Yes, that's a lot, but it's really not. And then what I wanted to talk about really quick is my face masks that I like to do. I know I didn't do it in this video, but I have to leave them on for 15 to 20 minutes, and I didn't want this video to be 10 hours long. So um, this is one of my favorite, all-time favorite masks. I've talked about it in my previous favorites videos. This is the Violet C Radiance Mask by Tatcha, and when my skin looks so dull and I feel like it needs to, like, have life back into the skin, I go for this. And that's why I love Tatcha products because they're so good at complexion products to make your skin just enhanced, give that inner beauty glow. And that goes along with these two products, my favorite eye cream lately, um, and then this dewy skin cream. And as you can see, look how nice and glowy my face looks. I feel so confident to go out in public right now, even just with, um, just with what I have on because it just looks so pretty. Once this seeps into the skin a little bit further, it will kind of like dry down so it won't be as glossy. But don't forget, I put um, these oils on too. So that's why it also looks like that. So in like about 15 to 20 minutes, this is going to seep nicely into my skin. Then I'll go in with my makeup and it'll be a perfect base for it. And then, yeah, like I said, I have my sheet masks. So 
pretty much that is a rundown of everything that I like to keep in my skincare fridge. It's very minimal, but also kind of not. It just depends how into skincare you are. I've recently got really into skincare. Okay, before we finish off this video, I wanted to talk about the cons to this fridge. Well, actually, here's one more pro. It's so gorgeous. The marbling on it is so nice. You can actually buy this on my Amazon storefront page. If you are interested, I will link it down below. So go ahead and click that link if you wanted to buy this fridge. A con of this is, first of all, it's so damn loud. A second con is you don't technically need this fridge. It's honestly just for, it's more of a luxury like I explained earlier, so it's kind of your choice. I thought it was really cute and I got it as a gift, so if you want to buy somebody a gift, it's a really nice gift. It'll be linked down below. And then I don't really have any other cons besides the fact I wish these adjusted and maybe they do, but I couldn't figure it out. Another thing this skincare fridge does that's actually cool is it goes to a hot setting, so you can make it either cold, which I use it for, or you can make it hot, so it's nice for like a little on your office desk. You can keep your um, like food in there, or maybe even like as a new mother, you can keep like your breast milk warm in there. But a very big con of it is it's kind of loud, so let me be silent so you can hear. I hope you don't hear the fuzziness the whole video, but it's pretty loud, so I would definitely keep it in like a bathroom or something, but that's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to my channel. I would really appreciate it. Also, hit that notification bell so you can get notified every time I upload a new video, and that is it, you guys. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Mwah. Bye, guys.